Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Greg. And my name is John. We're going to be covering the movie news of the week from March 12th through the 16th... 18th... The Venom movie lands a 2018 release date over at Sony. The Venom movie is supposedly not going to be connected to the MCU. Oh, that's so cute. Sony's still trying to matter. John Krasinski will be directing his much more famous wife, Emily Blunt, in a supernatural thriller. You know, I think it's always great when a Hollywood couple works together like this. Yeah, like Sam Mendes and Kate Winslet in Revolutionary Road. Or James Cameron and Linda Hamilton in Terminator 2. Or Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt in By the Sea. Yeah, they all lived happily ever after. The release date of Aquaman has been pushed to December 2018. Just in time for Oscar season. Moonlight! Henry Cavill has just joined the cast of Mission Impossible 6. Now, no reports have stated what his role in the film will be yet. Come on, man. Everybody knows what his role in the film will be. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, you do. No, I don't. Take a guess. <laughs> Super Superman! Oh, no, no. You said you beat, beat, you beat me to the punchline. It looks like the Fly remake will be directed by J.D. Dillard, the director of the upcoming film Slight. Now, the Fly tells the story of a man slowly transforming into a man-fly hybrid. Yes, it's also the true story of Donald Trump. <laughs> ah! Ah! That doesn't even make sense. Matthew Vaughn is supposedly being eyed to direct Man of Steel 2. Matthew Vaughn has previously directed hit comic book movie adaptations such as Kick-Ass, X-Men First Class, and Kingsman The Secret Service. I hope they let Matthew Vaughn do what he does best and create a fun, fast-paced, R-rated movie. And of course have young children and teenagers committing heinous acts of violence. Eh, it might be a little too dark though for the DCEU's upbeat, colorful vibe. Fede Alvarez will be directing the sequel to The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, titled The Girl in the Spider's Web. Reports state that he'll be recasting the Oscar-nominated role of Lizbeth, formerly played by Rooney Mara. Insiders state that Natalie Portman and Scarlett Johansson are in the running to helm the role. If it were my choice, I would go with Rebel Wilson. Why that? Well, because, you know, Hollywood's getting a lot more diverse with its ethnicities and really supporting feminism. I just think it's about time us fat people got some recognition and love, too. The Matrix reboot, or some kind of continuation of the universe and shit, is, is reportedly in the works at Warner Brothers. The Wachowskis will reportedly not be returning for this film. I think that if they do it, they should get directors who have credibility and who can really breathe new life into a beloved franchise. Oh, such as, like, Zack Snyder. Yeah, yeah, or David Ayer. Yeah, because Warner Brothers already proved that they can handle the DCEU. I'm sure they'll know exactly what to do with this project next. Christopher Nolan's World War II epic Dunkirk is reportedly getting a PG-13 rating. This has a lot of people concerned considering it's a war film that will most likely not depict graphic war violence. Yeah, we gotta sell those tickets, though. <laughs> yeah, thanks again, <laughs> Warner Brothers. Always making the best decisions. Adaptation of Stephen King's The Dark Tower releases its first official movie poster. Wow, now this looks very different than a lot of other posters I've seen. Yeah, I mean, there's this ultra dramatic back shot. Oh, yeah, they're probably lonely heroes. And they definitely have some kind of concealed weapon. A lot of buildings, you know, really getting that gloomy vibe. Yeah, yeah, but the, the buildings here, they're, they're upside down, so it's, it's definitely its own thing. All right, well, that's it for the movie news of this week. Tune in next week where there'll be more movie news of the week of that week of the week that you've already heard movie news. I'm Greg Galba. Subscribe to The Real Rejects. John Reasons is Jerry on Twitter and Instagram. Social media manager at Blumhouse and The Real Rejects. Click that notification bell. Click it. Click the bell.